The queen wiped away tears and was forced to mourn alone in St. George's Chapel during her husband's Windsor Castle funeral today, as she said her emotional final goodbye to her strength and stay after their extraordinary 73-year life together. Her Majesty looked grief-stricken and bowed her head in reverence as she accompanied her beloved Philip's coffin on its final journey, as their eldest son Prince Charles cried as he walked behind the casket into church followed by other devastated royals. The Duke of Edinburgh's casket was covered in his personal standard and carried his sword, naval cap, and a wreath of flowers as pallbearers placed him onto his extraordinary self-designed Land Rover hearse in the castle-packed quadrangle packed with hundreds of armed personnel. After the eight-minute procession and the 50-minute service, his coffin was lowered into the royal vault. A lament was played by a lone piper of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, and the last post was then sounded by buglers of Philip's beloved Royal Marines who then played action stations at the specific request of the Duke of Edinburgh. Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, pronounced the blessing before the 30 royal mourners silently filed out of the church into cars to take them the short journey back to castle. Harry and William decided to walk back with Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and were seen smiling speaking animatedly, as they were reunited for the first time in a year where their relationship became fractured. The emotional queen had arrived at the funeral as the national anthem played, and the royal Bentley stopped next to her beloved husband's coffin, where she poignantly paused for a moment of reflection as cannons fired and bells tolled in remembrance of the duke. Her Majesty was then driven to St. George's Chapel with a lady in waiting, before being sat alone at the front of the church where she stood alone and bowed her head during the national minute silence. Following behind the coffin was the royal procession, led by Philip's children Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. The grandchildren, including Prince William and Prince Harry, followed but the feuding brothers were separated by their cousin Peter Phillips. The Duke of Cambridge entered the chapel one place ahead of his younger brother, as the mourners filed into the historic Gothic building without saying anything to each other. But later spoke as they walked back to the castle. The Queen had decided that no royals should wear military uniform after Prince Andrew demanded to dress as an admiral and Prince Harry was stripped of his titles. They were allowed to wear their medals, however, 